Hello YouTube, welcome back. So in today's video we're going to learn about creating neutral portfolios of options. This is the eighth video of my series on the options Greeks. If you need to learn more about the Greeks, make sure you watch some of those videos first. Assuming that you already know about the various options Greeks like Delta, Gamma, Theta and Vega, today we're going to learn about how options traders create neutral portfolios and why they might want to do that. As we've seen in an earlier video, by using a stock and an option, a trader can create a Delta neutral portfolio. If a trader wishes to further reduce sensitivities to other factors such as gamma, they could do this by adding another option to the portfolio. A portfolio of a stock and a single option could never be gamma neutral. Once a trader adds an additional option and constructs a delta gamma neutral portfolio, they would still be affected by other factors such as interest rates and volatility. In general, for each Greek they wish to hedge, they would need to add at least one additional option to the portfolio. In the real world, it's very difficult, if not impossible, to hedge out all of your Greeks. It may be very difficult to find the correct option to hedge the portfolio, and even if it could be found, liquidity and transaction costs could be so high that putting together such a portfolio would make no economic sense. In practice, professional options traders flatten out their deltas if they wish, and then they hedge the portfolio once or twice a day. After that, they just monitor their other Greeks and take corrective action as necessary. The Greeks are additive in a linear manner. This means that the total delta exposure for all of the options of a given underlying can be found by adding the delta of each individual option. For example, if you are short 200 shares, long 5 calls with a delta of 0.5 and short 2 puts with a minus 0.2 delta, you have a net delta equivalent to 90 shares. How we do that is we say minus 200 because the underlying has a delta of 1, so you're short 200 shares, that gives you a delta of minus 200. Then plus 5 times 100, that's because each option covers 100 shares. So 5 call options times 100 times the delta of the call option, which was 0.5, then minus 2 times 100 times minus 0.2. And that is two put options that were short with a multiplier of 100 for 100 shares, minus 0.2 being the delta of that put option. And we sum that all up and that comes to 90. And so owning that portfolio gives you a risk exposure as if you were long 90 shares of the underlying. So for small moves in the price of the underlying, you'd expect your profit and loss, your P&L to change as if you were long 90 shares. I hope that makes sense. This approach works for delta, gamma and theta. The net position of rho may also be obtained by summing the rho of each option only if all options have the same maturity. Net position Greeks for Vega, Vana and Volga can be complicated as each different strike and expiration will have a different volatility. See my other video uh, that's coming out very shortly on the volatility surface and hopefully that will explain that to you. For options with the same expirations and similar strikes, these Greeks can be summed. So why might a trader want a neutral portfolio? A market maker might find themselves buying and selling a variety of options based on customer demand. They don't necessarily wish to find themselves taking the other side of all of their customers' trades, and so will aim to hedge. They do this by neutralizing their Greeks. Other traders may just want exposure to a specific Greek, and so they will put on a portfolio that gives them that precise exposure. That's really all on neutral portfolios for this week. Thanks very much for watching this video. If you made it this far, please hit the like button and possibly share it with a friend. If you want to see more content like this, please subscribe. Oh, and tune into tomorrow's video on dynamic hedging, where you'll learn how to win a free copy of my newest book, Trading and Pricing Financial Derivatives. Have a great day. Bye.